and today was the day that Pipes had had enough. <laughs> hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And no, I didn't forget I reviewed Pipes already. We're not looking at Pipes. We're actually looking at the uh, figure that Pipes is wearing. Continue Finishing our look at the last Lux figure from the Transformers Kingdom line. This is Autobot Slammer. Slammer is a weaponizer, much like Six Gun and Cog before it, and apparently is compatible with that old 30th anniversary Titan class Metroplex figure. But like a weaponizer, Slammer is capable to be broken down into component pieces and used as weapons. Now, I originally was going to do the setup that they show in the instructions, but while putting the pieces on pipes, a few things had to change, and then I realized I could do some other fun stuff. Now, this particular setup, I think, is really only indicative of pipes. The reason being is, number one, you have this the back cab section, which changes how the backpack goes on, but also because of his pipe weapons, they have those uh, three millimeter ports, five millimeter ports in the front that allow the treads here to peg in. So instead of one chainsaw sword, you have like the dual blade thing going on. I also have made a couple other cosmetic changes um, to how the parts go together because realistically speaking, um, they wouldn't sit right. And it really had to do with what's being used as the feet. So um, we'll go ahead, we'll strip pipes down, and I'll show you how to reconfigure the parts back into the tank mode, and then we'll go into robot mode. Okay, now to start off when I, when I was talking about uh, some changes that I've made, it really had to do with what I was using as the feet pieces. These are the arms in robot mode. Now, originally, um, the instructions have you uh, set the piece up like this with this peg facing out. And the problem with that is, and this is on both pieces, you have these tabs that allow the shoulders to combine together um, that if you put the parts like this will not sit flush on the ground. I think that was an error of the instruction. So if you just rotate the shoulder inward, you'll still have this panel facing outward uh, covering the hand, but you'll also allow the foot to sit completely flush on the ground. Also, I had called an audible, and this piece right here is designed to sit like that. I wanted to set now, and then this joins with these uh, treads. There's a little tab there that hooks them together, and then you just push this piece on, and there you have the, the chainsaw sword. I noticed as I was fiddling around with things, this piece, you have the two handles there. That looks like a double-handed cannon. So if I just switched that piece back on to center the cannon, that would work. And I do want to quickly mention this piece right here. First of all, uh, on mine, it came loose in the packaging. So I will show you in robot mode where it's supposed to go. But I do notice that you really have to push it on to the pe the uh, pieces to have it joined together. If you don't, it does sit very loose. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this so we can get into getting back into the tank mode. Uh, first thing is, I guess we can come along, and it's this section here. Uh, what you want to do is connect. Um, what is the waste piece in robot mode to this central column and make sure that the the side with the stand adapter is facing towards you. And what you're going to do is going to rotate this all around and 
you'll note here, I'm going to pop up the head. You'll notice there's a slot there that peg is going to snap into. And if your robot mode is a little loose, um, that's probably why, because that piece is not tabbed in. But then you'll rotate that down like that. And we're just going to leave it like that right now because uh, it'll you'll fold it up when, once everything's connected. But that's the first part. Coming back here to what were the uh, those missile batteries, these are obviously the legs, you want to fold these out. And these are the feet, and you want them to fold out until they snap into place. And then these will peg on and around, forming the body of the tank. Finally, I think, you know, next we can come to this piece, and basically what you're going to do is you'll take the uh, treads and see if I can do this from memory memories in the quiet of my mind take these tread pieces that little groove will slide in around that peg I'm so sorry guys but yeah so then you have that and then finally we're going to come back around to these arm pieces Want to separate them just like that uh, rotate these together so that they peg back together bring them back up and then bring the elbow joints down and you want the pegs facing outward and then slide those back on and then again you'll take this piece and really make sure you push this on that it will sit tightly if it's loose that means you don't have one of these pegs in far enough i know it sounds weird but it does make a difference and then take this barrel slide it on don't really know which way is top or bottom on this but i have it like that and then we can start putting the tank back together um come in here press it down like so uh there's a hole here that's going to peg in right around on those top of the treads so it is like that do it on both sides there we go that you know squares up the back next what you can do is angle this down so the turret sits flush you probably will have to uh, readjust the uh, barrel component come in here plug that section in like so make sure it's all even and then just flip that up underneath and there you have slammer in its tank mode now According to Hasbro, this can connect to that original Titan Metroplex, as was mentioned. The only there's no instructions how, but I the only thing I can think of it's those pegs there peg into something, and then if you come in and flip out this piece right here, which is similar to the piece that was on the original, the original. Uh, slammer toy you do have something that looks like its tower i don't know if you're supposed to leave this hip piece on or not but there you go so you do have that i'm not sure if that snapped in let me just make sure there we go and then like so get that Get it up there, put it back into place, and you know, for tank mode, you can raise the turret a little. There are actually some rollers built in that it can roll, so there's that. So, to go from tank mode to robot mode, uh, we're gonna do a little disassemble it again, but let's focus in on some pieces, focus in on uh, getting that turret up. 
as we're being joined by my special assistant, Delilah, who, because of how I have the camera configured, all you're seeing is her eyes and her tongue. Uh, like, seriously, she's right here. Yes, hi. Hi. Oh, there you are. There you can see her. There we go. There we go. Oh, now you see her tail. Oh, yeah. Well, I think the focus is adjusting. <laughs> oh, Delilah, you silly kitty. She just turned five, everybody. She turned five last Wednesday. So it's a... Oh, it's a week. You've been five for a week. Yeah. So, okay. So you've got the turret up like that. Come in. Separate the front section. Oops. I forgot to pull off to flip down the uh, hip piece. So you want to full, pull, flip that down and then separate. So we've got this piece right here. Flip up the head, rotate the head around, and then rotate the crotch piece and hips around at the waist. And there you have the top part of Slammer. Next, what you want to do is come in and remove the legs just like so you'll flip the feet up and let me make sure i do this oh you want to fold out the calf section or the thigh and you'll just peg it in just like so oh do i have this right i can't i always forget Oh, no. You want basically this section facing outward. So, yeah, I'm not moving my cat, folks. So, there you go. That's how the legs should connect. And you're going to do it again on this side. Flip this piece out. <laughs> oh, the white belt and the color and this focus is going nuts. And we're just going to peg that in. Oh. It is a, It actually is a tight connection. The only thing loose on this figure is the waist swivel. But again, that's kind of what happens when you have pieces that come apart. So we'll put that aside for right now. You have this nice little, could be a little mini tank embankment. You know, uh, go ahead, separate, separate the uh, arms from this back section. Why, thank you, Delilah, because she got bored. <laughs> uh, so we got... <laughs> oh, take the barrel off. Break it down. Um, this piece will sit on top. And this is... If it comes loose in the packaging, it goes on that back section on those two points right there. So there you go. You got it like that. Ah... Uh, Separate the arm, separate the arms, and with these uh, black stripes facing forward, that's how they're going to connect into the robot on the side, and then just rotate and angle them down, just like so, just like so. Uh, the barrel can go on, peg on like that. And then this backpack section uh, pegs on like so. And there you have Slammer in its robot mode. You got hips, knees, elbows, shoulders, the whole shebang. Uh, as things loosen up, push it, push the joint back into place. Um, you know what? Let's have some fun. Since the back of the box shows it, you can actually, in robot mode, remove the treads and that piece. And let's go ahead and form the, cha the chainsaw sword. You can have it, the figure hold it like this. Or peg it into the side. And there you go. Slammer's ready to kick some butt. All in all, 
cool looking figure. I really dig it. So we'll pause and we'll come back with my final thoughts. I like Slammer. I actually re remember playing with uh, the original Slammer as a child. It'd be like a little, little, little portable fidget toy. Like that would be like the totem or avatar for Metroplex when you couldn't have the whole giant figure out and about. So to be able to have it updated as a weaponizer and with a robot mode, I think is kind of cool. Um, I like the color scheme, the gray, the whites, it all works together. Um, interesting, I, I just remembered that like tower section, it's not that bone white that the original one was. So I'm not sure exactly how it'll work. Now I got this figure as well as pipes from the command store. Um, it's been coming in and out of stock at Amazon and it has been popping up at brick and mortar retail. So keep an eye out. Unfortunately, being the last figure of a line, it can be a little hard to find. Um, but it's definitely worth a pickup. And I would say, I think it's my second favorite weaponizer. I still think I like COG a little bit more just because you had um, a few more handheld weapons you could make from COG than you could Slammer. Also, I almost forgot to mention, apparently that whole midsection here, that's borrowed from Ironworks from Earthrise, but everything else is new. So I guess there is some shared tooling, who knows? But that's it for the review. If you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. While I will always appreciate your, the views, your likes, comments, and subscriptions help to communicate to YouTube through their algorithms that my channel should be exalted and held upon high. If you want to make the ultimate sign of support, I do have a Patreon. It is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month or $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you to help me help you bring figures like Slammer to you. There's a little card here in the corner and a hyperlink in the description below. But as I always say, Patreon is a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. If you can't swing the dollar a month or $12 a year, your views are more than thanks enough. Um, at the end of last year, I had a very good run and I am highly appreciative to all of you who have stuck by me, um, continued and subscribed, new subscribers. We really are in shooting distance of, of uh, 4,000 subscribers, folks. And I got to tell you, each one has been earned, and each one has been earned thanks to, to your support. So I really do appreciate that. With that being said, this is your old pal Chuck for Slammer. We will see you next time.